tough choices for us. Difficult choices yeah, as we put. As we go and, forward. Mm -hmm. um, one of the tenets that you have directed all of your staff to use as we put this budget together was the concept of shared sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And I know it hasn't been easy for you as superintendent mm -hmm. negotiating with bargaining units that have come up last year and this year, mm -hmm. that every single contract that has been approved by the school committee is at a zero percent increase yeah. in cost of living. Yeah. We just don't have the money. Yeah, never easy. It's, it's never easy when you work hard for a year and your contract reflects a zero percent increase. It's not, it's not easy for anyone. It's not easy for anyone. I think, unfortunately, that's the new reality uh, across the state of Massachusetts and actually across the country, but certainly in the Commonwealth, that seems to be the new reality everywhere. And uh, I would, the vast majority of employees seem to understand mm -hmm. the fiscal situation that mm -hmm. the state and the city of Methuen mm -hmm. is in. And I would say begrudgingly, they're willingly accepting that. They understand mm -hmm. they're dedicated to their jobs, mm -hmm. but there's no money to provide them wage increases. Now, is it possible? Are you, are you hearing anything from your fellow business administrators? Any possibilities that you know, things may improve this year or next? Or are we still <laughs> are, are we still hearing the, the 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 very grim news that next year will be a worse year economically than this? Well, if you at every meeting, the mayor reminds us that this isn't these aren't the I bad know, times. I know the bad times are next approaching year. next year. Um, Methuen last year, the school district, after the budget was all said and done and you made reductions, yes. we were provided um, federal funding um, to, to plug the hole that the governor had created. The stimulus money? Stimulus mm -hmm. funding. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the, the school committee in Methuen mm -hmm. took the most conservative approach in the state for those districts mm -hmm. that did receive federal stimulus funding. They decided that since this funding was intended to be spread over three years, that they would allow it to be spread over two years. Mm -hmm. The governor had taken our first year allotment yeah, right. and just wiped it out mm -hmm. to balance his budget mm -hmm. last year. So this year we got about $4.3 million. Mm -hmm. We're only going to spend about $2.2 million That's this right. year. Right. $2.1 million is going to be moved forward to next year to continue subsidizing about 40 personnel. So 40 personnel that we have already built into the are not operating, but our grant budget next year may have to be laid off. So our difficulty in going forward with perhaps a budget that is less than we have this year is also that stimulus money will no oh. longer be available. So we have an, ad on top of the budget cut next year, we will also have a $2.2 .2 million cut that and came available to us revenues. from stimulus dollars. But at least we have those employees this for year. next year. This year we have, we have one more year coming into play. Um, many districts have lost those employees. Oh, I know. And I know. districts across the state are laying off dozens and dozens and dozens, some hundreds of mm -hmm. teachers mm -hmm. and other staff simply because they do not have the funding. Yeah. And I don't think in any community I've heard where the taxpayers are willing to provide a tax override for operating expenses. No. No. That's not going to happen. We have to base our spending on the amount of available revenue that's provided to us. And historically, not only has the Methuen School Committee been conservative in how they spend the money, mm -hmm. but the Methuen City Council has been conservative in how they provide funding to the school department. That's right. When the state comes out with its net school spending figure, mm -hmm. historically Methuen budgets what the state says is the minimum amount you must spend to educate your children. Across the state, they average 13% more than what the state tells them. So in reality, you know, we, we've titled our budget Achieving More for Less because it's the truth mm -hmm. that as a district, Methuen spends 83 cents for every dollar every other district spends. Mm -hmm. And for administration, mm -hmm. it's 67 cents on the dollar. Mm -hmm. And as you recall, the school committee asked us to do a review mm -hmm. of how heavy our central administration was at the mm -hmm. central administration office. They were under the impression that you had ex Many added staff. people, added salaries. Many staff. And yeah. so when we did the analysis, mm -hmm. we realized that what you are proposing for FY11 mm -hmm. for central office staff not only has three fewer people, it will cost less than it did seven years ago seven in FIO4. Yeah. 
So you've made reductions in administrative staff. Yeah, well, we've had to across the board. And in this year's, uh, this year's budget, we are not filling three administrative positions. It's, it's really very difficult to, to go forward with, with this as our guide, you know, not filling open positions. And, and hopefully in the future, um, we will be able to maintain those positions or put those positions back into the budget. But I think one, one thing that might be important to the community to know is, you know, what are those major drivers? We've talked a lot about salaries. We know salaries are major is a major driver. What, what uh, other expenses are major drivers for us in terms of budgets? Um, there are none. We've, we've pretty much controlled utilities. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, there's one mm -hmm. that we can't control. Health insurance. Health insurance, okay. uh, yes. Salaries and health insurance mm -hmm. are those two items that we have virtually no mm -hmm. control over. Right. Salaries we have control based on our negotiating mm -hmm. with the bargaining mm -hmm. units mm -hmm. and how many people we, we, we continue to staff for. But health insurance is a huge issue, not only for Methuen, but for many districts, but Methuen in particular because we're self-funded. And all employees, city and school-wide, are going to see a significant increase and their share of health insurance premiums. Mm -hmm. However, since the city and the school department itself pay the majority of those expenses, a big chunk of our expenses increase next year is coming to subsidize health insurances. Mm -hmm. The next issue is um, if all staff receive the same compensation, we wouldn't see an increase in that, but that's not the case. Mm -hmm. um, we have two bargaining units um, that um, have not been willing to renegotiate mm -hmm. or sit at the table mm -hmm. with the superintendent school mm -hmm. committee um, to talk about sharing in the sacrifice that all other school employees mm -hmm. are bearing mm -hmm. and that's costing us money. Mm -hmm. the, based on um, the request for step and in lane increases next yeah. year mm -hmm. by our teaching personnel, yeah. Yeah. that's all teachers, mm -hmm. guidance counselors, psychologists, sure. etc. Sure. Um, the average salary increase next year would be 6.3 percent. Mm -hmm. That's 3 percent for the cost of living raise or adjustment mm -hmm. and then an average of 3.3 percent for step and lane changes which is based on yeah. how many credits. years you're in yeah. and how yes. much your yeah. education. And, and education legitimate people, issues. Sure, absolutely legitimate. The contract yeah. was negotiating good That's faith right. and your That's goal right. was yeah. to bring yeah. Yeah. I negotiated that teachers. contract in Your good goal faith. was to bring them up That's to right. the average That's in the right. area yeah. and I dare say it's very competitive yeah. at yeah. this point 